Alright, hey guys, um, this is going to be a model review. This one's going to be on the John Deere 650J LT, or as it's also known as, um, aka 650J Bulldozer. Um, it's in 150th scale, and made by Ertl. Um, this is a dealer edition bulldozer, so it's got the silver blade and the uh, writing on the top. And some, well, not really proof, but... Uh, there you go. It's a John Deere um, licensed product dealer edition right there. So um, I did get this model a lot cheaper. I didn't have to pay shipping. Like I said, I got it from a dealership, so I just had to pay for gas to get there. Um, now I think I paid like fifteen dollars for this, um, but I also bought the uh, John Deere 648. Uh, G number three logging skitter, so it was all like forty dollars. But anyway, you can probably buy this model anywhere, any dealership. Um, go ahead and get started. I've been tilting the blade back and forth, so I'll go ahead and start with that. The blade does tilt, as you can see, um, and it also raises and lowers. My hydraulics are a little stiff on the uh, right there. They are a little stiff on both sides, so I could probably put like some uh, uh, three one oil or uh, WD forty. That'll loosen them up. Um, moving on. Um, you got your grill there, and your uh, John Deere emblem, really tiny emblem right there. You also got your grill right there, and your engine would be in there, but you can't see it because the engine cover don't open, or the doors don't open either. Um, another thing I don't really like about this model is if you move one side of the tracks, the other side moves too. So, and that's not magic either. So, but it's got that little bar there and in there. Um, it's also got John Deere emblem there. And you got your deer there. Now, if you guys did see my um, uh, John Deere 850C walk around, um, there's a lot of stuff that's similar from this and that model. And the first is it's got the tow hitch right there, and I think the fuel tank's there. I'm not sure. And you got your deer there. So, um, all other than that, it's pretty much all the same. Well. It's not really the same, but some of it is the same, like the deer on the back. Um, moving on, um, you do have a little detailed in interior there. Um, you got your control panels there. Um, you don't have your brake there or your gears there like the normal one or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know the order, but um, you got your seat there, which is absolutely massive in there. Yeah, that must be for somebody that's big. So, no offense to anybody that watches it, but anyway, moving on. Um, you got your little exhaust stack there, which is kind of cute. Um, you also got your little air cleaner there. Um, you also got a, um, a, I guess that'd be like a support bar or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really familiar with bulldozers. In fact, that uh, Deer A50C was actually the first big bulldozer I've ever been around. So if you guys want also, if you want a little comparison, I got a 924G. Whoops. Got a 924G there. That'd be bad if that really happened. There's a little uh, size comparison right there. Um, uh, what else? Um, and if you also want another size comparison, um, I ain't really got nothing else around me. So, anyway, um, that's a model review on that. If you want, I could do a model review on the 924G if you guys want. Um, so, I guess that's about it for this model. Um, before I go, um, I do want to promote my cousin. He just got his own channel. Um, I think it's um, A N M 900. I'm pretty sure. Alex, if I said it wrong, don't get don't get mad at me. So, anyway, y'all subscribe to him. He's my cousin. He likes pretty much the same stuff I do. He likes planes, cars, construction stuff. So. But um, anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.